In the past four years, water transportation laws have changed drastically in Minnesota, affecting how you can carry your bait between lakes. On this week's Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy talked to us about how to transport your bait or how to properly dispose of it. Tonight we're going to talk about the importance of having clean, fresh water when you're transporting bait. Uh, there are new rules and regulations that state if you're getting bait from a bait shop, it's important to keep that bait in a container. And I have today just a little small container that'll still hold four or five dozen minnows. And uh, we all know that minnows are becoming very costly, anywhere from $5 to $15 a dozen, depending on what kind of minnows there are. So a lot of times when you're going to fish another day, you really don't want to throw those minnows away. So you, have, you do have two options. You can keep them or you can throw them away. But I'm going to talk about how you first get them. So you get your minnows from the bait shop and it's important to put them in a container of some kind and leave that container in your vehicle. Don't put it in your boat until you're actually on the lake and in the water. That's very important. The law is trying to prevent transportation of water from one lake to another to prevent contamination uh, that's happening like in Wisconsin where they've got some of these viruses going around in their minnows and on their sunfish and different panfish. So when you get the bait, put it in a fresh container of water, take it in your vehicle, and then when you put it in the lake, then you can put this into your uh, particular boat. You can then turn on your live wells if you want to put it in your bait wells, you can do that. But it's important that when you leave the lake, that you transport and get a different container of water. And Manny's going to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's not a big issue at any store, any grocery store. You can get gallons of distilled water. I'd have a couple of gallons of that in your vehicle with you. When you get back, you can either, one, if you're not going to be fishing in the next couple days and you don't want to reuse that bait, find the, date, the bait dispenser. Uh, most landings have a specific area where they want you to dump your bait. If you're going to take that bait home with you, that's when you're going to dump out the water that you had in there previously, take that fresh distilled water that you have and pour that into your portable bait bucket to take your bait home so you can reuse it again another day. So those are just some tips to make sure we keep our lakes clean and keep you out of trouble. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Andy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.